So I hear Singapore Pizza Hut has some amazing food items on their menu that's really different than what we have in the States, um, including a seafood pizza. There's also a hazelnut chocolate tart. I've heard good things, so let's try this out. The hazelnut chocolate tart with cheese on top. I think mozzarella cheese on top. Mm. Pizza's just arrived, but wow, this is good. Hot, melty Nutella sitting on the flakiest of crusts. Mm. That was amazing. This is an addictive, addictive, delicious little chocolate tart. Let's put this aside for now, for now, because the pizzas are here. This is a seafood pizza. Shrimp, tomatoes, a ton of cheese sitting on a sourdough crust. Next is a pan pizza, and this is a curry pizza. The slices of onions and chicken and curry sauce and potatoes on this one. So this one is really saucy. Huh, this is weird. The seafood deluxe pizza is supposed to have prawns, squid, and tuna. I just see the prawns. Maybe the squid and tuna is hiding here? I'll find it. Try the seafood pizza first. That piece, not as cheesy as I would like, but its crust is delicious. Pretty thin, crumbly. Definitely delicious sourdough crust. I'm gonna find a cheesier piece here. I think this piece is gonna be much cheesier. They got giant prawns on these things. I feel like the cheese texture is just okay. Prawn is delicious. Mm. And that sweet prawn just sitting on top of tangy sweet tomato sauce. I can't find my squid. We're tuna though. Tell you the truth, I was really excited for my squid and tuna because I've had tuna pizza in South Africa and also in Sweden. I love tuna pizza. I love tuna pizza. I mean, the prawn is really good. The shrimp is really good. But when you say there's squid and tuna, there should be squid and tuna. Let's try this. This is a curry pizza. Classic Pizza Hut pan pizza. And I'm excited about this because I love potatoes on my pizza. They say there's potatoes in here. There better be potatoes in here. Mmm. I don't know if there's potatoes in here yet, but there's definitely a lot of spicy, yummy curry in here. You see that? All that delicious, spicy curry. Mm. Covering the chicken and the tomatoes and the crunchy onions. Definitely a lot thicker. And I think not as good as the San Francisco crust, but the curry topping is amazing. I mean, the chicken is tender. Good amount of tomatoes to kind of balance out the curry flavor. I think I found a potato, but why is it crunchy? All right, we're going potato hunting. Wait, is that is that potato? All right, I found potato. I have found a piece of potato. I feel like it's like hunting for gold, get little nuggets at a time. I think if I got the chicken curry pizza on a San Francisco crust, it'd be even better. And I think if I got squid and tuna on my seafood pizza, that would have been even better. But overall, I don't know whether because I haven't eaten at Pizza Hut in the US for a long, long time, it's so much less greasy. I remember getting a pizza at Pizza Hut in the US and on the top, I don't know if it's still like this. On the top, it's just a layer of oil and grease. This pizza tastes good. It tastes leaner. It tastes cleaner, especially that curry one with the added spice and the added umami from the curry. That one's amazing. Best thing though, are these tarts. These are so good. Why don't we have this in the US? Mm. Just look at that. Another thing I gotta point out is the price difference. Pizza Hut is not cheap in Singapore. This size pizza, which in the US, this would be a small pizza. Here's a regular pizza. This pizza here was $26, so about $18 US. It's not a big pizza at all. Usually fast food tends to be cheaper in Singapore, so I don't understand why um, pizza is more expensive. I'm sure there's a reason behind it, but there is a pretty big price difference. A large pepperoni in the US, I think it's only about $16, at least double the size. But overall, this is a really good pizza.
so much foods. There's all your usual favorites. There's laksa, there's home dim sum compound chicken, which tastes awesome. And I love the fact that their sodas here are way less in sugar. I've never seen rice covered in cheese before like that. I think rice should be covered by cheese more often. Also, this compound chicken. There's tons of heat in this dish. Beats a lot of compound chicken I've had at restaurants. This is very, very good. Mm. Try not to overeat. There's gonna be so much more food on the flight. Totally forgot this airport. You go through security at the gate. I thought I had time. There's still time. So today, flying Singapore business class. And if you don't know, this route from Singapore to New York is about 19 hours. It's the longest flight in the world. So food is gonna be pretty important. Let's see what they have to eat. So Singapore Airlines have booked a cook where you can select amazing meals uh, before your flight. Unfortunately, I'm the most absent-minded person in the world, so I did not do that. So this flight doesn't really come with a amenity bag, I don't think. But you get socks, eye cover, and slippers. And also, it's not a 19 hour flight, it's 17 and a half. Longest flight in the world still though. All the latest new release movie options, tons of stuff to watch. And of course, Singapore Airlines Business Class, extremely, extremely roomy seat, a lot of space for your legs. And again, can't wait to try out the food. I haven't flew this airline in since the beginning of the pandemic, but I remember the food being amazing. Lunch time. So starting out, this is a salmon, egg, and potato salad. Oh, this garlic bread was awesome. That's great garlic bread. The fish salad is just okay. This is the big piece of cold salmon. Rice really good though. We got a brooch as well. Look at that. Mm. Very flaky, toasty. Rice is really good here. Lunch, this looks so good. White bee hole. So there's some eggs, some shrimp, octopus, greens, calamansi, and they're so nice here. I just want to give a big shout out to all this awesome staff here at Singapore Airlines. They brought over two hot sauces for me. Thank you so much. Mm, that's so good. I just wanted to try the bee hole without anything. Broth is cooked in delicious and rich, very shrimpy, which I love. Oh, that is nice. Splash of citrus goes so well. The rich and secretly flavor of the vermicelli and some of the hot sauce as well. Mm. Oh, this hot sauce has some heat. That is very, very nice. The shrimp is juicy and plump. Squid is so tender. I love how that great flavor of the seafood has definitely, definitely got all into those noodles. This might be the first time I'm sweating from spicy food 30,000 feet in the air. Delicious local comfort food on an airline. Also, when you're flying, your taste buds are less sensitive, but that was a flavor bomb explosion. Awesome. I really like little crispy pearls mix in set as well. This is so nice. Like I said, people here are so nice. I got the cake and they brought me over the ice cream. Oh, the ice cream is so good too. This thing has a crispy chocolate crust on the outside. Wow, this is actually really good. I might like this one in a cake. You know, number one is done. Awesome meal, by the way. 15 more hours to go. I heard this Elvis movie is really good. Supposed to be a lot of turbulence coming up, so get some rest, and then we're gonna start trying out some of the any time food items. So when you're ready to rest, the seat turns into a bed. 
Oh, actually, just got the amenity bag, facial mist, lip balm, hand lotion, plastic baggie, probably for your mask. And if you go to any pen polygons, pen polygons, you can take this and get a free body wash. So this is free you can get anytime during a flight. And it's the soy sauce chicken over noodles with the veggies on the side. This looks really good. Very shaky right now. The chicken's a little dry. It's kind of under seasoned. Noodles are not bad. It's like a dry, loaming type noodle. Mm. A little amount of flavor. The noodles are nice and chewy. starting to serve the second meal. I think they're doing this because it's nighttime in Singapore time, so uh, once they serve this meal, I guess everyone goes to sleep. And the appetizer starter, chicken satay. That smells really good. Mm. I like this. Served with some raw onions and cucumber. This thing is savory and sweet, really peanutty. The chicken is very tender as well. It's got a nice smoky flavor too. You can definitely taste all the herbs that's on this chicken as well. Not bad at all. Again, they're so nice. The brown meat, another one. Score. Next dish: seared pepper crusted tuna. This is very, very good. Nice sear on the outside. The tuna is really tender. Some crab salad on the side too. The inside of that tuna is borderline velvety. It's so nice, the crab salad is made with real crab. What a difference. Garlic bread is so garlicky. I feel like every single airline should offer freshly baked garlic bread with tons of garlic. First of all, it's just the best kind of bread. Secondly, what if vampires are among us? I mean, how would you even know? There's no sunlight in the plane. For the entree, I got beef cheeks. Just try to cut it with a fork. Not much resistance. I'm thinking this is gonna be pretty darn good. That is really, really tender. Really tender, but a bit on the dry side. I really like the salsa verde they gave me. I wish I got more of that to dip the beef in. Mushroom is really good. Dessert time. Um, they're kind enough to give me basically every dessert they had. Mascarpone cake, a date pudding, and assorted cheeses. Mm. Oh, that's really good. The mascarpone cream cake is so light. It's creamy, it's rich, it's delicious. Mm. That's so good. This is the date sticky pudding with some butterscotch sauce on the side. I really like that. Very nutty, a little dense, definitely very butterscotchy. Mm. I like how nutty that is. I love the date flavor. I think I might like that more than the cream cake. This cheese smells like it has some funk. Mm. It's a little funky piece of cheese. So it's going to that all you can eat rotating cheese buffet uh, in London. Whatever I see cheese, I eat the cheese. If you want to check out that video, I'll link it down below. Amazing all you can eat buffet. Then I'm going to put on a movie and slowly enjoy this. Good morning. About two hours till we land. The last meal on this flight so far. I've been loving the food here on Singapore Airlines. And they've pretty much given me the entire menu to try. This last dish looks like something I would get directly from a hawker stall. I mean, this looks beautiful. It's fish egg noodle soup. I got vermicelli noodles, regular noodles, minced meat, fish balls, fish cakes, greens. I really like this. Broth is light but flavorful. Nice fish flavor in the broth. Fish ball. 
super snappy. That's not bad at all. I haven't felt a cool breeze in months. Oh wow, Flushing just added a new uh, movie theater. 4DX. This rain feels so nice. So nice. It's cool rain. I haven't felt cool rain in months. So last night I got in, crashed right away. Today, food court, food time. Food stalls are closed. This is a really good place. Happy Lemon. Whoa, the Xiangguo place is closed too. That's where I wanted to go. Big changes in this food court. Wow, all these places are closed down. I got a Jiajiangmen from this, the Lanzhou Lamen place. It's a really good place. I haven't had this in such a long time. This used to be my favorite place for jajang noodles because all the noodles are handmade. It's so super elastic -y and stretchy. I don't know why there's a lack of jajang mian in New York City, like the Chinese version. This place definitely serves one of the best. Mm. Just noodle quality alone. It's so chewy and nice. Mm. Happy lemon. Still the best cheese foam tea. Mm. Actually, I know another good place. This is a really fun place. If you guys are ever in New York, you want some tea, you want to play some games. Look, it's a cabbage dog. I'm just going through all my favorite food items and flushing right now. So here at Nanjiang, this place is two o'clock in the afternoon. Lying out at the 30 minute wait. This place is absolutely swamped. Beef pancake, three treasure soup dumplings. Lucky six, yes. Let's try abalone on pork too. Wontons, these are really good. I haven't been here in such a long time. Wow, a lot of new items here. Lunch number two. Hot oil once on your so good. Also, pancakes with slices of beef. A little much good here. Oh, truffle went so truffly. Mm. Oh, I really miss this place. I remember coming here when I first got to New York City. So, this place to me, not just good food, so much nostalgia too. One of the new ones, sea cucumber. Oh, like a burst of porky seafood soup. One thing I love about this place, there's so much soup in the soup dumpling. Definitely one of the juiciest soup dumplings I've ever had. Mmm. Not so much. Hey guys, like I mentioned in the beginning, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh, my all-time favorite meal kit. I've been talking about and recommending HelloFresh for many years now because of all the dozens of recipes I've tried from them, honestly did not have a single bad meal. Every single one of them has been absolutely delicious. Even sometimes when I feel like I might have messed up a recipe a little bit, it still comes out amazing because with HelloFresh, ingredients travel from the farm to your doorsteps in under seven days. You know they're gonna be fresh. There's over 35 weekly recipes. It's extremely customizable. You can swap proteins. You can add proteins to a veggie meal, upgrade proteins. The recipes are step-by-step, -step, super easy to follow. There's quick and easy recipes like 20-minute meals. So if you're like me and you pretty much want your food right away, those are really 
really amazing options. And right now, the holidays are just around the corner. Everyone's schedule is more hectic. Usually people are doing more cooking. HelloFresh will definitely save you time going to the grocery store. All the ingredients are pre-portioned. And that's another huge reason I love this service so much. With this, cooking is simple. Cleanup is super simple. And the ordering process is super customizable as well. You can change your preferences, address, delivery day, all with just a few clicks on the app. So if you want to give this a try, go to my link down below or just go to HelloFresh.com and use my promo code CHEN70 for 70% off and free shipping. Guys, try it out. I think you'll love it as well. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.